Deep learning in science is the development of understanding of scientific concepts that at the same time uh, in increases the level of skills, uh, higher thinking skills, uh, and at the same time connects with previous understandings. An important aspect of that would be to uh, elicit a desire to continue, a, a belief that uh, this is a, an interesting, worthwhile, valuable uh, occupation, proposition. <laughs> Uh, I promote deep learning in my students by uh, following through a, a, a series of steps which begins with the understanding of basic concepts. I would do this typically by uh, uh, perhaps presenting material from a textbook, uh, a brief summary, let's say, of a chapter. At this point, a structured uh, a delivery the purpose being that the students don't feel out of their depth, at the same time connecting deliberately with previous knowledge. So after that phase, uh, I would then challenge them to uh, take part in uh, a range of different uh, uh, learning experiences, uh, pedagogy uh, targeted to a wide range of experiences. Uh, followed up, but I, at this point I think those experiences need to be um, uh, able to have a reasonable level of success. Uh, obviously with some challenge and open-endedness, but I think it's important that uh, there is a success achieved at each stage. And I would follow that up with a, a, uh, um, a, a presentation or a reflection or teacher feedback so that the, the students would feel that what they've done is valuable and that they have succeeded and that there's a very positive feeling about what, what has happened. The way that students respond to each other in, uh, in situations where they're given a challenging task is, is uh, quite fascinating and uh, very, it varies with each student. Uh, it, uh, can range from uh, 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 taking control, taking charge, um, feeling the, the excitement of the challenge and being a leader, to uh, the, the complete uh, uh, lack of self-confidence uh, and almost shut down that, that this is too hard, I can't do it. So uh, the whole range. What, what, I, what I try to do is uh, break up the friendship groups before a, a group activity is started uh, to make sure that there is a, a, a positive, supportive environment. And, and in, so in some senses it would be ideal that uh, the personal interactions that are happening there, the personal relationships, were null as, as it is. That, that uh, the, the students can interact with each other uh, on a, a an academic cognitive level without um, you know having a, a, any sort of uh, a, a emotional response to the other person's personal uh, characteristics. I would offer a, this advice to teachers uh, embedding deep thinking skills to uh, try a wide range of activities. Uh, uh, all sorts of um, uh, modelling, uh, experimental work, all sorts of uh, uh, group activities, individual research, uh, use of the internet, uh, and in fact using uh, any sort of free interactive science activities, um, but at the same time uh, probably limiting the uh, use of and, and the, the development of higher order skills during assessment tasks. I've, I've found that uh, it does help to um, take that pressure uh, away from students and allow them some, some more free reign. Uh, uh, students, in my experience, tend to be in a different mindset when they're taking part in an assessment task.